you off somewhere. Well spotted. Well, are you going to tell me where? I don't know yet. On your own? What do you think? You got the result you wanted. She made a choice. And I'm not it. You're doing the right thing getting away. So as long as you come back here, yeah, don't go disappearing again. We'll see. How quiet is it without Moses? Best night's sleep I've had in ages. Oh, we don't have to have him back if that's what you want. Oh, hang on. I never said that. What's with him, mood? I'm fine. What, is it a necklace? Thought you were there quiet last night. Thought you ate it, don't you? I love it. All right, it's the sweetest thing ever. <sighs> well, don't get all soppy on me now. It's not the Debbie I know and love. Uh, it is. Sometimes. Right. Table and stuff have been dropped off at the farm. No, I can't rely on Ross to help out. But do you know what I've been thinking? I don't know if I want him to be an usher. Oh, right, why? Why has he been acting weird? I just... I can't let him ruin things. OK. More well, whatever you want. Oh, it's good. I'll see you later. See you in a bit. Ross, it's me. I need to see you. Look, yesterday, I wish you'd have told me, OK? I don't want to fight. Please meet me later. You did OK yesterday. But don't go thinking you can relax. Still need to make sure Ross keeps away from Debbie. He's gone. Gone? Gone where? I don't know, but he won't be at the wedding. Best news I've heard all day. I've got somewhere to be. More relationships to ruin? <laughs> Some people aren't meant to be together. Me and Kane are, but you did your best to wreck it. Where's your family loyalty? Open your eyes. He's out kissing other women. You've got problems. Doing you a favour. Well, do me another. Stay out of our lives and stay out of Debbie's too. Can't do that. You know, you'd be better off with charity. You've got so much more in common, including a kid that neither of you care about. Debbie doesn't want you. She loves Pete. She didn't yesterday. She was ready to leave him, all packed and ready to go. Yeah, and look what happened. She found out just in time what you really like. She was mad at me. Doesn't mean she wants to be stuck with Pete for the rest of her life. Me and her, we are right together. You are kidding yourself. Yeah. Then why does she want to see me? I was all packed and ready to go. Then she called desperate to meet. She still loves me. Oh, I doubt that. Yeah? Well, we'll see, won't we? <sighs> I'm glad you rang. I thought I'd totally blown it. I should have told you about Moses right from the start. I will never lie to you again. Total honesty. I can't stay. There's loads of stuff that I need to do for the wedding. You're still going through with it? I thought you understood that. Then what are we doing here? I'm offering you a deal. I know that Moses means nothing to you. So you don't have to have anything to do with him. What are you talking about? You never wanted to be a dad, did you, Ross? It's not who you are. I wanted to try. Well, you don't have to. That's what I'm saying. You know, this way you can live your life and start again. Nobody needs to know that you're his dad. No ties. You'll never have to pay a penny towards him. All you've got to do is walk away. And is this what you really want? I want to forget all about you. And marry the man that I love. So please, for once in your life, do the right thing and let me.